In this video, we are discussing stop and wait air cue flow control. The sender sends one frame and waits for the feedback from the receiver. When the acknowledgement comes, the sender sends the next frame. And that is the basic principle between in case of stop and wait air cue. And note that the sending two frames in the protocol involves sender in four events and the receiver in two events. So, just see here, we are having these two frames to be sent. So, request and then arrival, then here this acknowledgement will be coming, then arrival, then request, then arrival and then arrival here. So, four events will be occurring at the sender site and two events will be occurring at the receiver site. So, here we are plotting time along this respective axis. So, some feature list, error correction in stop and wait ARQ is done by keeping a copy of the sent frame and retransmitting of the frame when timer expires. So, whenever sender will send some frame, it will wait for the acknowledgement. If the acknowledgement has not been received by the uh, sender within a certain amount of timer duration, then this particular frame will be retransmitted. That is why the sent frame must be kept in a buffer for the retransmission if required in future. In stop and wait ARQ, we use the sequence numbers to number the frames. The sequence number are based on the modulo 2 arithmetic. That means the sequence number cannot be more than 0 and 1 because modulo 2 means remainder of the division by 2. So, what will be the value for the remainder in that case range of values 0 and 1 only. In stop and wait ARQ, the acknowledgement number always announces in modulo 2 arithmetic the sequence number of the next frame expected. That is the sequence of the next frame expected that will be also expressed in the form of modulo 2 arithmetic and that will be the format that will be the numbering in the acknowledgement. So, design of the stop and wait ARQ protocol just find this respective diagram. So, here we are having this sender and that is our receiver. So, this is a respective say frame to be sent. So, as we are using the frame number using the modulo 2 arithmetic. So, you cannot find any value other than 0 and 1. So, from the network clear get data. So, this particular data link clear you get the data and then send frame. So, frame will be sent and that will be received by the receiver. This is a say, say data frame, this is a data frame and here we are having the sequence number. So, that will be sent, receive frame and then the data will be received and then one acknowledgement will be coming from the data link. So, that acknowledgement will is coming. So, this is the acknowledgement frame. So, this acknowledgement frame will have the first field that is the acknowledgement number. So, that will be coming down here. So, request from the network clear, this is one event. So, repeat forever algorithm for sender site. So, now here we are having the notification from the physical layer one event will be occurring. So, there is a time out. So, that is another event is taking place. So, uh, one clock has been shown repeat forever that is algorithm for the receiver site data link layer and there is a notification from the physical layer we are having. So, one event is occurring here. So, this particular diagram is depicting how this stop and wait ARQ protocol is working. We already discussed that one ARQ means that is a automatic request query. Now, let us go for the respective algorithm here. So, just see SN is equal to 0 and can send is equal to true. So, while true that means it will be forming an infinite loop because while true is there wait for event. So, there is a slip until an event occurs. So, let me go for the previous comments. So, SN is equal to 0 means frame 0 should be sent first and then can send is equal to true means allow the first request to go while true that is a repeat forever and wait for the event that is a slip until an event occurs. If event request to send and can send if it is true and this is also true we have also made that one true right now. So, get data from the network layer make a frame against this SN, then store the frame against this SN, why you are keeping this particular frame stored for the future retransmission, send frame that is our SN, 
and then start timer Sn is equal to Sn plus 1 and then consent is equal to false and now wait for wait for event. So, in this way the wait for event will be called here. So, the sequence in number is in Sn keep a copy and then slip. So, just see here we are having the line number 16 and this is our line number 17. So, that is a continuation of the previous slide. So, if event arrival notification and acknowledgement has arrived, whatever the algorithm we are discussing only for the sender side, you know. So, that is a when acknowledgement has been arrived, receive frame that is the acknowledgement number, receive the acknowledgement frame. If not corrupted and acknowledgement number is equal to is equal to SN, that means it is a valid acknowledgement, stop timer within the timing, within the timer, the acknowledgement has come purge frame is n minus 1, copy is not needed. So, you can delete it from the buffer. So, can send is equal to true because the frame has been successfully received. So, that is no need to have any retransmission. So, that is no need to keep it in the buffer for the retransmission back again. So, if event timeout start timer and recent frame is n minus 1. So, that is a recent a copy of a copy there is a check. So, in this way we are going to going to resend the frame once again. So, just see in the previous case we have increased the value of S n. So, that is why when you are deleting we are using S n minus 1, whenever you are resending that is S n minus 1 because the S n has got increased by 1. That is the receiver side algorithm for stop and wet ARQ protocol. So, R n is equal to 0 while true. So, there is a frame 0 expected to arrive first so, R n is equal to 0 while true, wait for the event, sleep until an event occurs. If event that is the arrival notification data from the from the center has arrived. So, receive frame, if corrupted frame sleep and if sequence number is equal to R n that is a valid uh, data frame, then what will happen? Extract data, deliver data to the upper layer R n is equal to R n plus 1 and send frame R n. So, send and one acknowledgement. So, if the data frame is corrupted, slip means what? If it does not give any acknowledgement as the sender is working along with the timer, so sender will be able to understand that as the acknowledgement has not been reached. So, perhaps either the frame which was sent has been lost somehow in the network or the frame received by the receiver which is corrupted, which was corrupted and erroneous. So, that is why it need not to go for any negative acknowledgement to be sent from receiver to the sender. So, there is a diagram with the help of which we are explaining. So, at first we should be keeping this S n is equal to 0. So, there is a request of frame 0 will be sent. So, now it is now going for the acknowledgement 1, it is asking for the frame 1 to be sent. So, now this frame 1 has been sent, but somehow it has been lost. So, no acknowledgement will be coming from the receiver because receiver has not received the frame. So, that is why again the frame 1 will be resent. So, acknowledgement 0 has come. So, acknowledgement 0 has come. So, now what will happen? Request a send. So, frame 0 will be sent. This acknowledgement has been sent, but somehow it has got missed and corrupted and lost in the networking environment. So, what will happen? This timer run out will take place. So, again the timer will be restarted and frame 0 will be sent and acknowledgement 1 will be received by the by the uh, sender. So, in this way the things are taking place see each and every steps is there in this respective diagram. So, in this particular video we have discussed what is stop and wait ARQ. So, listen this video very carefully, pause the video as when required, take the note of this slight content and prepare your own personal note which is required for your exam marks. Thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.